Morning. This was the vice president's reaction when she was asked about the migrant situation in the San Diego Unified School District. Now, she laughed when discussing this. Take a watch. We'll get your thoughts on the other side. More parents are seeing the value of educators when they had to bring the kids <laughs> and say, we're not paying them nearly enough. <laughs> I don't I understand what she thinks is funny. Um, American parents are getting screwed. Their kids are falling behind. And the very people that Democrats claim to be standing up for, minority students, aren't getting an education and aren't going to be able to compete with their peers in the United States, not to mention across the world. And just on a basic staffer level, has nobody sat down with the vice president and said, you have to stop laughing? When you are asked serious questions, it makes you look out of touch. It makes you look incompetent. Uh, that's a basic thing that they should have fixed by now. But in terms of going back to your question about whether she is the person to handle this crisis, I think Morgan's absolutely right when it comes to this being done in a lot of ways on purpose. They think this is a good political position for them to take against Republicans. And in the future, they're now creating a political position where they let hundreds of thousands of people in, most of them children and families. And it creates another uh, another opportunity for Democrats in the future to say, we need another Dreamer Act. We need another DACA <laughs> Act. And then they use it against Republicans as a political point to accuse them of racism. And on this issue that we've heard this week, too, of the administration waiving essentially the FBI background check for sponsors of these children, I spoke to a whistleblower years ago during the 2014 2015 surge under Obama who said when they waived those background checks during that time, these children were then getting picked up by sex traffickers and sex offenders mm -hmm. and sold into essential slavery in the United States. So this is a complete catastrophe and it affects Americans and it also affects these children who are now being taken into these facilities and just given away to people without a proper background check. Mm. Julie, dealer's choice on what you'd like to speak oh my about God. moving forward. <laughs> you have no idea. I mean, first of all, watching that clip of Kamala Harris making a joke about parents who had to actually sit home, many of them for over a year, it makes my blood boil. I had to do that homeschooling for only three months last year. I, I feel so sorry, not only for the parents that have had to do it because their poor children are now lacking in education and they're going to be behind for years, but the, the struggling parents that have had, that are tax paying Americans who have had to stay home or sacrifice their jobs to raise their children and also, you know, look after and supervise their Zoom calls. And now migrants are going to take priority and precedence. That is absolute BS. It is it is it is infuriating for parents all across America. It's absolutely disgusting. And, and Kamala Harris needs to quit the nervous laughter crap because that is just getting old. <laughs> you don't make jokes. You don't laugh when you're talking about 18,000 number is rising. Is she supposed to look into the cause of this? She hasn't looked into the cause. She hasn't gone to the Mexican border. And she certainly has no right talking about where parents and how parents should be feeling right now after their kids haven't been in school for a year. I'm just disgusted. Mm. It's so difficult to take someone seriously when they have that inappropriate affect. And to the question posed to Morgan earlier, I can't imagine that inappropriate affect being a part of discussions with foreign leaders or foreign representatives. It makes me embarrassed, frankly, for our country and how we're presented to the rest of the world. Will Kane will give you final thoughts. I just hope we can all, at some point here, Emily, I'm talking about Americans listening, watching, and dealing with this hypocrisy, dealing with the reality that their kids have to sit at home while migrant children who have made their way to the United States within the last several months can have in-person learning. I just hope we can all hear that and go, what is going on? It is time to put our foot down. This cannot continue. At a minimum, we are asking those questions here. So hopefully someone somewhere is listening.